Hey friends, um, so I wanted to um, pop on here because I had some requests to do a video on how I do local bulk orders. Um, so if you um, have any questions or comments, put it in the comments below. If you don't know who I am, my name is Eric Mobley. I joined Cincy almost four years ago, so in April of 2020. Um, essentially, it has been um, some extra income and just fun money for me. I do also work a full-time job. I have a dog, I have a husband, and Cincy is just fun extra money for me. So um, I like to do these videos periodically. I haven't put anything on my YouTube channel in quite some time. It's been about four months or so, um, but I'm trying to kind of get back into a cycle of maybe releasing at least one video a week. Um, as you all maybe know or maybe don't know, like if you're a content creator or which I don't consider myself a content creator, but it can be time consuming to record videos and upload them. Um, just being transparent, I just use my webcam to record videos because it's just easy to upload them from um, my webcam to YouTube on my laptop. So um, I'm happy to get back into the swing of things. Um, but essentially, I had posted um, in my share group for Cincy on Facebook. And if you're not in that group, comment below and I can add you to it. Um, so I essentially um, posted on Facebook that my PRV before the Valentine's Day launch and after was about 600 PRV like that I had gained. So I gained 600 PRV in less than 24 hours just from taking pre-orders as well as doing local bulk orders. So I might do a separate video on pre-orders, but essentially pre-orders and local orders are, I do the same thing for both. So um, if you'd like a separate video on pre-orders, let me know. But for now, I'm going to focus on bulk orders because I've had quite a few questions about this, how they work. I think when people join my team, I just kind of assume that they know how to do it, and I really shouldn't do that, um, mainly because I kind of learned on my own like how to do it, but um, I um, realize that not everybody maybe learns like that or knows that, so I do apologize for making that assumption, um, but I um, am going to go ahead and jump in and let you know what I do. So, if it's your first time ever doing a local bulk order, um, I would try your best to make it as a party. I wouldn't do it as an individual order because the calculation of shipping and stuff can get a little tricky and you just want to make it as easy as possible. So you can create a new party or you can go to a party that you already have created that maybe already has orders on it something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and just kind of let you know my process. Um, I'll share it actually in just a second because I have a step before that. So essentially what you want to do is if you have ever had people interested that live near you in Cincy, like your local customers, um, or maybe just someone local who's never purchased from you, if someone has ever seemed interested that lives near you. Um, I personally always just offer porch pickup. I have a few people that I deliver to, but I, anymore, it's mainly porch pickup. I don't have the time really to do a ton of deliveries. If I do deliver, the person typically lives 15 minutes or less from me. And I set the standard of, I'm going to deliver on my own time. I'm, you know, you're saving money on shipping by having this delivered to me. If you wanted it delivered to you faster, you could have ordered online or I could have had it shipped to you. Like I don't say those words, but I kind of do set those expectations up with my customers. So just keep that in mind. So um, in order to set up a local order, you want to message those local customers. You don't want to blind message anybody if they have never been interested in what you're selling or if they have just shown no interest, don't cold message people and be like, hey, I have an order going in. I know you live 10 minutes from me. What can I add for you? You don't want to do that. Um, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is make maybe make a post on Facebook and see if anyone might be interested. Um, I usually just say local bulk order or a local order. And I mention, um, you know, let me know if you want to want to save on shipping. 
I know we can't say free shipping or, you know, stuff like that. So I usually just say, let me know if you'd like to save on shipping. And I usually get some comments or something like that. Um, that's a really good way to give it, like, start with it. I know, like, my mom will send me stuff or, like, some family members. But I do have a handful of, like, friends and other customers that I've met over the years who are local. And they're, like, every time they're, like yeah, I want to add these bars or this warmer or something like that. So you essentially want to message those people. Don't cold message people who have never shown interest. And like, I usually just say, hey, um, this time around I said, hey, happy new year. I just wanted to check and see how are you doing on your smell goods? That's all I said. And then, you know, if they wanted to add something, I would, you know, you can write it down. Sometimes I'm a pen and paper person, you know, you can write down what they want. Uh, most of the time, I kind of just put it in my notes on my phone. Like I put the name of the person and then exactly what they want. Sometimes I will go ahead and create the party and go ahead and enter what they'd like into the workstation under the party. But again, in order for it to be a party, it has to be at least $200. So I would keep going until you're maybe tired of messaging people. Maybe give people like a week of turnaround. Like, okay, my order is going to go in. Like if it's during a specific launch, um, like the Valentine's Day stuff released yesterday on Monday, the um, 8th. So I started messaging people you like around the first, you know, letting them know like, okay, I'll have an order going in on Monday. Let me know if you'd like to add anything. And then, you know, they would get back to me. If they say like, hey, um, I'm going to look and let you know, I usually make note of that, like to follow up with them because maybe they forget, like people aren't thinking about Cincy 24 seven. They will likely forget <laughs> to reach out to you. I did have that happen with a couple of people. And once I followed up with them, they sent me what they wanted. And, you know, they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I've been busy. So life happens. It's totally fine. So send those messages. Get what they like. Um, however you want to do it. You could do pen and paper, put it in your notes on your phone, or go ahead and add it to the workstation. And this is what that looks like. So I'm on that second step there, or that's what I call it anyway. Sorry, I'm trying to share my screen here. Oh, here we go. Okay, sorry, I shared on the wrong screen. All right, so um, I have my parties open here, and you can create a party by going to orders and create a party. So that's, you know, I already have parties created, so you don't really, I'm not really going to go through that step, but I'm going to go through this open party, and this is a really good tip, too. I try to say this as often as possible. If you have your personal website turned on to where, you know, people have access to order from it, I know it's, you know, it's a monthly cost, but it's a tax write-off. I'm not a tax professional, but I use it as a tax write-off. Um, always have an open party that says no party order here, no party, um, you know, click here, something like that. Um and uh, or January online orders or whatever month it is. I have both mainly because I have people order through both. Um, but I'm going to open this no party order here. And I have that type of party open all the time. Like I have people order from it. That is such a good way for you to get your own free and half price items. Um, so essentially what I would do is go in and add the customer. So I'll just like add myself just to not share any information, and you, if it's coming directly to you, you don't want to have it shipped to the customer, but you can add direct ship options here. Like if it is someone who lives out of state or something or far from you, you can go ahead and check this and have it shipped to them. Um, but in this case, we're not doing that. So, and then save and add products to um, cart. So, I'm just going to do a random warmer that somebody might want. So rustic garden, sure. So that is added. 
And once I close this party, that'll be shipped to me. But again, the party has to be at least $200 to be able to close it out, use rewards. Um, this is also a good way, like if you have this part type of party open, um, you can use the own your own host rewards, like get your own three and a half price stuff. It's such a good way. That's one of the biggest perks of being a consultant, in my opinion. Um, we can have our own parties in, in disguise and get our own free and half price items. And right now, you know, it's double the half price items in January. Um, so you essentially want to add everybody. And especially once you have like the complete total, um, this will do it for you, but this is going to, um, it's maybe not going to calculate the shipping um, accurately. So you maybe want to send totals when you get like maybe give someone a ballpark idea. So you maybe want to give them like their regular total, like the total of all the products plus like the tax, which is I know in Kentucky is 6%. Um, and maybe just let them know like shipping will be three, two or three dollars, depending on how many people you add to that, um, you know, bulk order. It might be free if your party is over $350 something like that. So the more people you add, the cheaper their, sh their shipping will be because all of those customers are splitting the shipping. So just keep that in mind. Um, so once you have their total, you want to let them know what the total is and then gather their money. I have all the pay apps. I have Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. Um, I will take people's card information, you know, right before I'm about to submit the order if they don't have any of the other, you know, pay apps or anything like that, um, you just want to make sure you gather their money. Um, if it's a pre-order and you want the money, if you have to have the money in your account right when you order it, I would get the money like as soon as possible because you want it to transfer. You know, the money's not going to transfer over the weekend more than likely on any pay apps through your bank. Um so you just want to like gather that money as soon as possible, because if you're doing pre-orders or something like that, if it's a clearance item, like things can sell out. So you just want to make sure you have that money from the customer. You don't want to request it from them too early, but you also want it to be in your account in a timely manner. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> so once you have everything, you're good to check out. Like you can add your host credit, free and half price items. And make sure you don't skip anything because you can get this $5 fee. And that includes your perpetual party reward. I have a video on this if you want to go to my Sensi playlist. This is just another half price item. And from there, you can check out once you have everyone's money. Um, check out, have it sent to you. You can double check everything, make sure it's good. And then check out, cl <clears throat> close the party. It's shipped to you. You get that PRV. And then once it comes in, you can sort the items, let the customers know your your order is in. You can either have them come to your house. I know some people don't like to do that. You can deliver, you can meet them somewhere. This is just such a good way to guarantee that you will get PRV and save people money. Because if you see like this shipping is $5, but the more people you add, it'll keep going down. And if the party is at least $350, the shipping for everyone will be free. So, um, because I know $10 for shipping, that's high. That's pretty standard anymore, in my opinion, especially for something like Scentsy, where it's fragile, breakable, um, large items, especially if it's a warmer or, you know, heavy items. $10 is pretty standard. I really don't think that's terrible, but... We live in like an Amazon culture where people are so used to having free two-day shipping, but they also forget that they pay for that service of Prime. <laughs> and, um, you know, Prime is what, like $12 a month or something like that? I think it is for me. I don't even remember. It just kind of comes off my credit card, but um, I think people sometimes do forget that. But, you know, if this is getting me PRV and they don't mind to come pick up their order, I really don't mind to do this for my customers. If if you're willing to put in the time, prioritize this, 
you will get the PRV, you will make money off this. And, you know, this is a good way to have parties too. I know that's a whole other topic, but you can have people, you could do a home party or a bag party where people, you know, borrow your testers and collect orders. This is a good way to have parties too. Before I joined, this is how I had um, parties under my sponsor. Um, you know, I, I did bag parties with her and, um, I did like I had maybe a few website orders, but it was mostly just under, you know, it was individually ordered this way. And, you know, I got all the host rewards. So it was great. But I just wanted to share how I do local bulk orders. It's really not that hard, in my opinion, once you get the hang of it. Um, my, my biggest thing is don't message people unless they have seemed interested in Scentsy or your business or supporting you please don't just blind message people or a cold message people because that's not cute. That doesn't make us look good at all. That doesn't make you look good. Um, so you don't want to do that. But if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys. Bye.